Queens. Welcome to your Leo New Moon Tarot reading. My name is Natasha, also known as Nourish Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. Um, I do these readings for the collective. So if you're watching this, hi, welcome. You're the collective. I send out the intention that this is for whoever needs it, whoever stumbles across it, whoever needs to hear that. So here you are. You found it for a reason. Um, I'm just going to pull some cards. First, we're going to do tarot. I got this new deck on, I was just at a retreat that I host. I host Witchcraft and Wellness Retreats and I just did one in Joshua Tree and I found this deck at this local shop there called Rainbow Stew. It was like the greatest shop ever. It's called the Heart and Hands Tarot and I've been really drawn to it lately so we're going to use that for tarot and then we're going to clarify with some oracle cards. So we have postcards from Liminal Space. Unfortunately this is a limited edition deck. It's not available anymore um, but that's what we're going to use and it's scary at the bottom. <laughs> no one is coming for you. It's scary but you know what? Uh, I definitely feel the vibes. It's just the Leo energy is very strong, independent, go forward with confidence, do it, even if you're afraid, do it anyways, and just make choices with confidence. Um, the Leo new moon is July, the night between July 27th and 28th. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it while I shuffle. So let me open this box here. Oh, let me also show you actually what I have. I have a little setup here. So I got this crystal also in Joshua Tree. Um, it's called Vanadinite. I could be saying this completely wrong, but like, look at this. Look at that. I have never seen something so sparkly. There's like sparkles everywhere. I mean, the camera truly doesn't do it justice. It is so much more sparkly in person. Um, but I have never seen a crystal like this before and I had to have it. So I got that. I have some raw garnet. Um, I never had garnet before, so I picked up some of that. Lots of red crystals, very powerful energy. Um, I also got this fluorite. It looks like almost like rock candy or like a Jolly Rancher, but I just picked up a bunch of very unique pieces. So I have all those here with me for the energy. And then before I get started, I want to cleanse my hands. Um, so for my retreat, we were under the full moon in Capricorn and it was amazing and beautiful. It was a super moon. It was gorgeous. We we're out in the desert underneath um, the moon doing yoga and a ritual. And I charged some moon water. I made three bottles and this is my attraction blend. So I have um, red, red adventuring, carnelian, fire quartz, and I believe a little rose quartz in here for some attraction, for some abundance, for some love. So I'm just going to, this is moon water, so it was charged under the moon. So I'm just going to open this and I'm just gonna use like a tiny bit of it to just clean my hands, just cleanse my hands before I start shuffling. So this is one of the things you can use moon water for, just little, oop, just the tiniest bit and just kinda cleanse the hands a bit, cleanse the self. Bring that attraction energy towards us. Let me just close this bottle up. All right, so we have that. Now I'll start shuffling and tell you about the new moon. So like I said, it is July um, 27th through the 28th. It is Leo season. We're leaving Cancer season, entering Leo season. Um, you know, Leo is the lion in tarot. Leo, Leo is ruled by the strength card, which I'm actually wearing on my necklace here, you can kind of see it's a person taming a lion. It's all about taming the beast within. Uh, mental and emotional strength over physical strength. Perseverance, like it's your sign to keep going, to keep moving forward. You know, even when I'm hearing like when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Um, the song that has been stuck in my head since like I started planning my Leo New Moon classes and tarot reading is Roar by Katy Perry. Um, I've been thinking about the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz. You know, he just needed to be brave and he needed to be courageous. And that's what we need to do is feel the fear and do it anyways. The affirmations in my yoga class, which I also do yoga classes for every new moon and full moon um, for this one was, I feel the fear and I do it anyways. I am confident in my choices and I move forward with bravery. And that's what this new moon is all about is moving forward, moving forward, in a direction of your choice confidently, um, trusting yourself, inner strength, confidence, you know, knowing that, you know, even if you fail, you're going to fail with flair, you're going to fail with a little confidence. And I don't, you know, you're, I don't think you're going to fail. I think you're going to, you just got to do it, right? You just got to go forth and do it. Um, like I said, Leo rules the strength card in tarot. Leo is also ruled by the sun as far as planets go. And also I feel a little bit the sun card is Leo energy in tarot. And the sun is warmth, abundance, the happiest card in the deck. It's like a little naked baby on a horse, just like... 
you know, going forward and happy and riding into the sunset. And uh, in the body, Leo rules the heart and the upper back and the spinal column. And again, it's all about bravery, leading with the heart. You know, sometimes we need to lead with the brain. I feel like the Capricorn full moon was all about kind of like structure and stability and, you know, moving forward with, uh, as I'm saying, moving forward, here's the chariot in this deck. And it's like a person blazing behind um, the wheel of a car, which we're moving out of cancer season, which is ruled by the chariot into the Leo season. And yeah, it's just moving forward confidently. And what else? Anything else I want to say? I don't think so. I think I covered it all. Leo is a fire sign. I'm a Leo moon. So like, I'm about it. And think about where you were under the last Leo new moon last year. So last summer, where were you? What were you manifesting? Has any of that come to fruition? Um, I know it has for me. And I have some pretty big things happening in my life. And I'm scared, but I'm going to move forward. And I'm going to feel uh, the fear. <laughs> Almost had a flipper. And do it anyways. So... All right, guess who's at the bottom of the deck, friends? What did I say? It's the sun, the happiest card in the tarot deck, abundance, sunflowers. Um, I learned that in the traditional tarot, um, the sun has sunflowers on the card, but they're turned away from the sun. So you know how sunflowers turn towards the sun? In the tarot, it is turned away from the sun because it's looking at you. You're the sun, you're the abundance, you're the warmth, you are all the things. So let's pull these cards and see what we got. All right. Ooh, definitely some fire coming up. So many court cards, sheesh, sheesh, all right. I can't make it up. The card of Leo just came out. Strength, the full, the two of cups, wow, look at that, that is, that is a gorgeous reading, my friends. And like I said, the sun is at the bottom of the deck. And we got the strength. We got strength. We got Leo. Leo is right here showing up and ready to roar. So let me turn this camera around and show you what we got. Right. So we have the Princess of Swords. We have Strength. That's the card of Leo. We have the Prince of Wands, the Fool, the King of Swords, and the two of cups and then at the bottom of the deck of course is the sun but like look at this i love this look at that strength card like the fool this is great so i feel like this reading definitely is i usually do like past present future but this is coming to me as like the top row is all court cards um and i feel like those are all energies that we need to kind of embody and then the bottom is kind of like what's going on so the top row we have the princess of swords who is the Page of Swords, the Prince of Wands, who is the Knight of Wands, and then this is the King of Swords. So you can kind of see here the energies, like, look at her. This is the Princess of Swords. She's kind of, she has a sword in her hand. She's kind of ready to fight, but she's also kind of contemplating. She is kind of sitting in her power, contemplating kind of where to go. And then you can see the Prince of Wands. I mean, he is like raring to go. I think he's on a motorcycle, driving down a highway, like very punk rock. I like it. Um, there is a lightning bolt on his um, arm. And I've heard, I think I remember it was a Prince of Wands or the Prince of Swords. I think it's a Prince of Wands. Um, he is the fire pony. I've heard the lightning pony, like he is fast moving energy. And then the King of Swords. And you can tell he's very thoughtful very his brain is kind of giant it's giving like professor x um but he is kind of the thinker he is very mature um swords energy swords is air energy we have two of those so the princess of swords and the king of swords and the prince of wands of course fire energy and these are the energies that i think we need to embody under this leo new moon the princess of swords i think is kind of where we are um the page of swords is kind of like intellectual but taking a kind of taking a pause that's where we've, we've kind of been we've kind of been in the princess of swords energy taking a moment to think taking a moment to be like okay what do i want to do like where am i going i kind of have my sword i'm like ready to go but where do i want to go what do i want to do kind of taking that time to figure it out first and then 
move confidently forward. Go for it. Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands is like, go for it, go for it fast. Um, very fast moving, rapid forward movement energy. Um, you know, he's on his motorcycle kind of blaring down the highway. Like that's the Leo new moon energy right there. Like go for it. Um, the Princess of Swords kind of, I think is that confidence energy, like confident in your decisions. The Prince of Wands, he goes for it. And then the King of Swords is kind of, you know, I think I was saying like, we got to think with our heart right now. Um, yes, think with your heart, but the King of Swords is kind of there as a reminder to like, you know, um, I'm talking positive forward movement. I'm talking forward movement, like that goal that you've been wanting for a really long time. I'm not talking moving forward rapidly with something that you're not sure about or something that you're not, you know, something that's not good for you. Um, moving forward with, you know, you thought about that decision, the princess of swords, she is intellectual. She kind of took a moment to pause and figure out what she wanted. And then she moved forward. And the king of swords is a reminder of that too. Yes, like lead with your heart, but incorporate a little head in there too. Like, what is best for me? What is best for me logically? And um, to kind of like a personal anecdote, if you will, uh, I live in a house. I love my house. I've been here for five years. However, I rent my house. Um, and my landlord decided that they're selling my house, which is just something that comes with renting. Um, I'm not able to get a mortgage at this point in my life. Yay, small business. Um, but the past year I've been manifesting, I wanna live in a cool loft. I wanna live, I have this dream of like my dream loft in my brain of what it looks like of, I've never lived on my own before. I've always lived with someone, whether I was married, I used to be married, divorced now, but I live with my ex-husband since I was 19, or I've been taking care of my mom since my parents got divorced. So, or I've had a roommate. So I've always been with someone and I've been like, I wanna live on my own, I wanna live on my own, I wanna have my loft, but I was too scared. And the universe said, nope, the universe snatched this house out of my hands. Now I got to move. And it's like, you need to go for it. So I've been sitting, I've been thinking, I've been in my Princess of Swords energy. What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? Researching places, like doing the thing, kind of figuring it out. Like, where do I want to go? And then once I find the place, Prince of Wands energy moving forward. But then there's that reminder of like, you know, I have to think about what's best for me. I can't think about what's best for other people because I do have a roommate right now. I do have my mom and we're going kind of our separate ways. My mom wants to go back with her family. My roommate wants to move in with her boyfriend, but like I still feel the need to like take care of everyone to make sure everyone's okay before I focus on me. But the King of Swords is like, no, what's best for you? Think about what is best for you. You know, we've kind of been, and it's right over the Two of Cups, which again, I think it's that like, it's very... It's a lovey card. It's the, the child, the baby to the lovers. It's very, you know, taking care of someone else, give and take energy. And it's like, it's time to you for you to do what's best for you and kind of two of cups yourself, like fill your own cup. There's two cups here. You know, again, it could be a partnership coming in. It's water energy, but I really feel it's like, it's time to fill your own cup, right? And then, so the top is like the energy we need to embody, right? The court cards. And the bottom, we have strength. We have the fool. And the two of cups so this is kind of like i feel like what's coming like the top is the energies the bottom is kind of like what's going on strength obviously like i said is perseverance you can see here she's taming that lion it's interesting to me that in this it's like closing the lion's mouth where in like the traditional strength card i have it on my neck i actually have a candle here of the strength card and she's kind of like I don't know, it almost looks like she's opening the lion's mouth or like grabbing the lion's mouth. And this one, you know, she's kind of clamping it closed. And it's, it's again, taming that beast within and it's under the princess of swords. So we're kind of like, kind of shutting up that voice that's like wants to go do reckless crazy things or wants to, you know, stay where we are or basically all of our limiting beliefs and all the kind of negative stuff that's like holding us back the princess of swords energy that contemplative um what's the best decision for me kind of energy is like shutting up that that voice that's like no do this or like you're gonna fail blah, blah, blah. um kind of clamping down the voice of fear this is about bravery this is about courage the fear is never gonna go away but you can be afraid and do it anyways right and then we have the fool New journeys abound under the Prince of Wands. You're going for it. You're going for that new journey, that new decision. The entire major arcana is the Fool's journey. The Fool traditionally, it kind of looks like an alien type of guy in this, but um, traditionally is someone walking off a cliff, taking that leap, going for it. New, fresh starts, new beginnings. 
taking the risk, taking a calculated risk, but the full energy is like, just go for it. Like, even if, you know, you may, may not know what lies on the other side of that cliff, you have kind of done the work and it's time to step off and go for that journey and take, take the risk. You have the green light here, basically. And then the two of cups is taking care of yourself. Whatever this decision is, this full card, whatever this new start is, it's what's best for you, not what's best for others. It's filling your own cup, being in harmony with yourself and your decisions. And then we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Brightest, most abundant card in the deck. Happiness, warmth, abundance, moving forward confidently. Happy things, good things, good things are coming. Like, I love it. This is, I love this reading. So I'm here for it. Now, let's clarify with some oracle cards. I really, I really love this deck and I love the depictions. I think it's very interesting. I'm also going to be, while well, I shuffle, I'll tell you about it. I'm going to be hosting a tarot challenge in my YouTube membership here in August. So we'll, we're going to go over each of the cards, a card every day. We're going to go over the suits of tarot. We're going to go over some spreads. So if you're interested in that, you can join my membership. It's here on YouTube. Just click the the join button on my channel. It's only $9.99 a month. We do live yoga, live tarot, yoga and tarot challenges, um, live new moon and full moon workshops. We have a private discord channel where we have a community it's I love it so if you'd like to join we're gonna be doing that all right take a nice deep breath for me and let's see who we got here I just realized that both of these decks are black and white I don't know why I'm feeling that black and white vibe because we're the vibrance right with Leo season like we are the energy we are the brightness and the color I feel like these cars would be really fun to color in though <laughs> Taking a nice deep breath. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I love these cards because they feel <laughs> they're very, um, very draggy sometimes like you get dragged but in a good way in a way that we need it and you know it's uh I like it I feel like the tarot cards I, I feel like I always see memes where it's like the tarot is like draggy and then the oracle cards are nice it's the opposite with this deck the oracle oracle cards are draggy the tarot cards are nice so let me show you what we got going on here all right we have close the portal just passing through snake medicine and then the bottom of the deck is glitch so let's talk about it all right it's definitely not what i expected with the oracle cards i did see um there's a card in this deck that's called rainbow and it's like kind of like the sun very happy i saw it almost flip out once and i was like yeah it's gonna be happy and then i was like ah, maybe not but it's not bad so close the portal is over the strength card in the princess of swords she's closing the lion's mouth you need to close off that portal to whatever limiting beliefs you have closing off that old cycle that old portal that old you know taking care of other people not putting yourself first doing things because it's what you should have supposed to whatever what other people have told you to do to do shut that lion's mouth that voice in your head negative voice limiting beliefs other people's voices close the portal you can see again the princess of swords here is also she has her sword she's not resting she has it like gripped tightly in her hand ready to just like <clears throat> cut it off close the portal snip snip cut off what does not need to come with you into this new journey now just passing through is over the prince of wands and the fool and you can see it's a luna lunar luna moth and they don't have very long life cycles they're gorgeous but they're just passing through they're not here for a very long time and for me what i'm picking up because of what I'm going through is the Prince of Wands and the Fool is like a really rapid, fast shift. It's almost like tower energy. Um, you're moving forward rapidly. Things are changing rapidly. You're taking the risk rapidly. Like I have to find a new place to live and it's terrifying and I have to go and I have to do it now. Um, but it's just passing through. It's going to be whatever decision you take, whatever leap you start moving forward, it's going to be a little crazy there at the beginning, but it's just 
it's just passing through. It's not going to be like this forever. And that's okay. And sometimes we have to kind of live in that chaos for a hot moment so we can get to where we want to go. Now, snake medicine is the only one that's a little concerning to me just because, so the vibe of this card is essentially, um, what, uh, what do you do when you get bit by a snake, right? Um, you have to use the anti-venom of that snake that creates, or the venom of that snake creates the anti-venom. And sometimes with snake medicine, you have to, you can see all these jars here. It's like poison. There's like a skull and like the poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison, that poison. <laughs> um, but you have to, sometimes it's like the thing that you don't really want to do. That, that venom is the anti-venom. The hard thing, the gross thing, you know, when you get bit by a snake, sometimes you have to suck out the venom from like the wound. Uh, it's hard. We don't like it. <laughs> You know, it's uh, not fun, but I think that's what the King of Swords is over. The King of Swords and the Two of Cups is kind of encouraging us to do is like, you just got to do it. You guys like ripping the bandaid off or like, I don't know, my brain's like pulling a tooth out because I have to go have like four teeth removed, my wisdom teeth this week. It's like the thing that you really don't want to do, that thing that's just like, ugh, like the snake medicine. You're like, I don't want to drink that anti-venom. It tastes disgusting. I don't want to suck that venom out of the wound. It's gross. I don't want it, but you got to. So whether that's, again, uh, kind of cutting some people off, focusing on you, Two of Cups, King of Swords, like stop making decisions based on other people. It's very hard, I know. Whether it's like doing the thing that you really don't want to do, like I need to get my wisdom teeth pulled because I'm 30 and they've been impacted for 10 years and like I don't want to do it, but now they're really infected and so I have to. Like you have to do that really hard thing, that really like ooh, the thing that like you're just like, I just don't do it. Be afraid and do it anyways. I'm terrified of having tooth surgery, but here we are. Um, I'm terrified of moving and being on my own, but here we are. I'm doing it anyways. The snake medicine is the medicine. The venom is the anti-venom. Like, you know, the hard thing that you don't want to do is ultimately going to be what helps you, what fixes you, what cures you. I know we don't like to hear it. At the bottom of the deck is glitch. And this is kind of just a, a reminder that this is just a glitch in the system. The situation that we're going through, um, you know, it's not what I expected. It's not, I know we're all kind of going through it right now. I feel like it's happening with a lot of people I know. I've been going through it. Like, even though I've been having the greatest time ever, like my business is thriving. My retreat was amazing. It started with my air conditioning in my house went out the day I was supposed to leave. And I had my mom here with my dogs in Las Vegas where it's like 120 degrees. And I had all this trouble getting this van that I rented for the retreat. That was a whole thing. And then my landlord told me we had to move like the day of my retreat starting. Chaos. Went for the retreat. Retreat was perfect and awesome. Oh, and then my wisdom tooth got infected. So retreat was perfect and awesome. But like my whole life was like all around me. And then I got back and instantly had to go back into like dealing with it. Like this is a glitch in the system and it sucks and it's not easy, but it's just passing through and I know it's hard. And that's what the strength card is all about is perseverance. Keep going even when you don't want to go anymore. Um, snake medicine, close the portal. And I think that's it, my friends. Very, very clear, very straightforward reading. Um, I appreciate you so much. Um, bear with me while I'm going through all these major life changes. I might not be here a lot, but I'm going to try to be as much as I can. Again, we have that tarot challenge coming up in August. I'm going to pre-film everything. So, you know, while I'm recovering, um, we've got a yoga challenge coming up in September. If you join the membership, you get instant access to the previous yoga challenge. So that's instant access to 30 plus classes. It's only $9.99 a month. I have courses available. I do private readings. Um, I'll put all the links for everything in my bio. I think that's all I have, my lovelies. I hope you have a wonderful new moon in Leo, and I will see you next time.